Okay, we're going to do special right triangles today. 5-8 um, is the lesson. We're going to justify, justify and apply properties of 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90 triangles. So here, is, here are the two rules right here, and we're going to spend the rest of our time doing some examples. So you'll notice that in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, both legs are equal, and the hypotenuse is the leg length times square root of two, okay? In a 30, 60, 90, the, you have a short leg and you have a long leg. This is the short leg. And this one's the long leg. And then you have a hypotenuse. In a 30, 60, 90, I should put a uh, 60 here, the short leg is um, always doubled to get the hypotenuse. And then the long leg, in order to get the long leg, you take that short leg length and you multiply it by square root of three. It seems rather simple, um, so, uh, but some students get a little bit caught up in the details. So let's do a few examples. So first of all, here are some examples of 45, 45, 90. So whenever you do a problem, um, you need to take a look at it and you need to say, okay, if I'm trying to find the hypotenuse, this is a 45, 45, 90, and I know that it's a 45, 45, 90 because and it's isosceles, and it's a right triangle. And so if you take a look at this as a right angle, that means that these two have to add to 90 degrees, because that's what's left over. If you take 180 minus 90, you get 90. And so this has to be 45, and this also has to be 45. So if we think about our rule x, x, x square root 2, that's our rule, x, x, x square root 2. Then if x is, if this is 7, then this has to be, you take that 7 and you make it 7 square root 2. Fairly simple. Now let's go backwards. So this time we have x, x, x square root 2. This time we don't know what x is, that's what we need to find. But if we take this, this uh, equation here, 6 equals x times square root of 2, then we can solve for x by dividing by square root 2. And then you'll get, um, so x equals 6 divided by square root 2. And if you remember from your algebra days, you're not allowed to have a root on the denominator. So we're going to multiply by a magical 1. This magical one will help us get rid of that root on the denominator. So we're left with 6 times square root 2 over square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. This cancels. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So my answer is 3 square root 2. Okay? And you'll notice that there's a little trick here. The hypotenuse was 6 and the leg was three square root two. So what happened between the six and the three? Well, we just divided by two and then plopped on a square root two at the end. So that's kind of a little trick once you learn the rules. So let's do a couple of 30, 60, 90 triangles. So this rule here is x, two x, x square root three. x, two x, x square root 3. So you'll notice that here we have 8. So that means this has to be doubled. So this length here is going to be 8 times 2, which is 16. And this right here is going to be the short leg, x, which is now 8, times square root 3. So 8 square root 3. Okay? Here we have this next one, x, 2x, x square root 3. So now in this case we can solve for here, right? So 2x equals 20, that means x has to equal 10. So this is 10 here, and then you just take that up to use times root 3, so this is 10 times square root 3 up here, okay? Here's the last one, x, 2x, x square root 3. This time, what you need to use to solve for x is this one here. 9 equals root 3. 
So 9 equals x square root 3, divide by root 3, divide by root 3. You're not allowed to have a root on the denominator. So 9 divided by root 3, multiply by that magic 1 to get rid of the root. This is 9 square root 3 over 3, which then simplifies to, we write it up here, 3 square root 3. And you'll notice what happened if you wanted to think of a trick. How do we get from 9 to find out, oops, sorry, this, that's this length here, is 3 square root 3. Not this one. This one's 9. How do we get from 9 to 3 square root 3? You divided by 3 this time, the so square root 3. So then to find out this one, we're going to take 2 times 3 square root 3, which is 6 square root 3. So this one here is 6 square root 3 for this hypotenuse. Okay? And that's how we use 30, 60, 90 triangles. So let's do, I want to show you a couple of tricks. If you are working with 45, 45, 90 triangles, and you want to find, if you're given the hypotenuse, and you want to find the leg lengths. So if this equaled, let's say, 10, then the leg lengths is going to be half of 10 times square root 2, or 5 square root 2. That's the shortcut, OK? On a 45, on a 30, 60, 90, If you are given the longer leg, sorry, I should have put this there. If you are given the longer leg, and then let's say that this is um, 12, then the short leg is going to take that 12 and divide by 3 and multiply it by root 3. Okay, so in other words, that's going to be 4 square root 3. And the, the hypotenuse is going to be taking the short leg here, so 4 times square root 3 and multiplying it by 2, which will give me 8 square root 3. So those are the shortcuts if you don't want to do all of the multiply by a magical 1 here. These are our shortcuts for how to find the legs if you're given the hypotenuse here, and how to find the short leg if you're given the long leg, because those are the ones that students generally have the most difficulty with. Going the other way is a lot easier for students, but when you have to deal with this root and dividing and everything like that, it can be a little bit tricky. Uh, but those are the tricks to it. Okay? Thanks for watching.